If you get the message grabber initialization failed when you first start up the Eagle Eye Pro software, first establish you have a connection from your camera to your computer. You could do this by looking at the Ethernet port on your computer the data cable coming from your camera is plugged into. If you see a solid green light and a flashing amber light, you are getting a signal from your camera to your computer. If the green and amber LED lights do not light up for you, consider plugging your camera's power supply into a different power source. Next, make sure you've given the computer and camera enough time to establish a connection between each other. Click on the internet access icon in the lower right part of your screen. When you first plug in the camera, you will see a network connection that is identifying. Once this changes to unidentified network, you can start up the software. If you start up the Eagle Eye Pro software before this is changed to unidentified network, you may get the grabber initialization failed message. It means you haven't given enough time to establish a connection between the two devices. If your computer does not have green and amber LEDs on the adapter port as mentioned in the first part of this video, this is another spot you can confirm you are getting a signal from your camera to your computer. Next, check to make sure your firewalls are turned off. You could do this by going to your control panel. Next, check to make sure your network adapter is set to 9000 jumbo frames. Right click on the PC. This could be my computer or this could PC or whatever you've named it. Click on manage. Then click on device manager. Expand the network adapters section. Right click on the adapter and this could be several different names. Click on Properties, click on the Advanced tab, select Jumbo Packet, this could also say Jumbo Frames, and make sure the value is set to 9000. Could be 9000 bytes, 9000 MTU, needs to be set to 9000. If it doesn't have this capability, it will not work for this application. Next make sure you have, have not changed the IP address settings on your network adapter from obtain an IP address automatically and obtain DNS server address automatically as the camera is set up for auto negotiation in these two areas. Click on the internet access icon, click on network and internet settings, click on change adapter options, double click the ethernet port, click on properties, Double click the Internet Protocol version 4 and make sure it is set up and the setting is set to obtain an IP address automatically and obtain DNS server address automatically and click OK.